And it's so, so true. Now, uh, the young environmentalist Maya Rose Craig has always loved sharing her passion for birds with children. But during lockdown, she's been bringing the outside in for people stuck in their homes. She told Alex all about it on a bird watching trip. So what would we expect to see out here then? Um, you can see loads of different stuff in this area, actually, like the robins and the blue tits and the um, chaffinches. So if you look up, you can see there's a buzzard flying around and that you've got a couple of crows chasing after it actually because basically they're trying to scare it off essentially irritate it until it leaves them alone Myros, it's so nice to see you but it's been a weird time so how has lockdown been for you it's been quite nice actually because all my exams have been cancelled this summer so i haven't had to do any revising and i've been able to just spend a lot of time out in the garden and going on walks and just quite a lot of time bird watching to be honest and you've been doing loads of media as well haven't you i think you've been really busy with that yeah it's just been amazing because everyone's been very interested in all the different campaign work i've been doing to do with making the nature sector more diverse and giving giving more people access to the countryside. And you have to think outside the box during this time as well, don't you? You have to think of new ways of kind of inspiring people to get outside. Um, yeah, it has been a bit tricky, but I did a series on my blog all about, like, even if you live in, like, a block of flats in the middle of the city, ways you can engage with nature. And, I don't know, starting a herb garden in old plastic containers on your window ledge or um, just opening up the window and just looking up at the sky and the birds that are flying over, keeping an eye out to see if there are any, like, swifts or swallows or things like that nesting in your building. And I guess just being... Um, more aware than you ever were before about the nature that surrounds you, even if you do live in the middle of the city. And what's the reaction been? Um, people have been really interested in it, actually, because there isn't really a lot of content or a lot of ideas on how to engage with nature if you don't live in... Like, I'm really lucky, I live in the middle of the countryside. I don't know, people finally have time to engage with nature, and it's one of those things that if you're living a really busy life with a nine-to-five job, it, you're just tired and you don't feel like you have the time to go out and appreciate green spaces, which is why I think, you know, it's more important than ever that we are able to do that. So no matter what happens moving on from here, do you think you'll carry on inspiring people and also um, being an activist for the environment? Um, definitely. I can't really see myself stopping. And I think actually after um, this is all over, there's going to be a really important period where people sit down and think about how things have changed over lockdown and how that could be positive, whether it's not commuting every single day to work or um, maintaining that connection with nature. Very interesting, and thanks to Alex. Be uh, lovely to see you again soon, Alex. Uh, let's move on to.